Hey guys, Toolman Tim here. Welcome back to the workshop where we build business, create community, find freedom, and share success. It's Tuesday, which means it's time for another edition of Toolbox Tuesday. And this week, I've got a really cool product for you. So let me tell you a little story. You guys know that I keep an above ground pool in the backyard for me to cool off in, but more importantly for my kids. And every morning for about two weeks, I'd wake up in the morning and I would see that pool was down about an inch. And I knew I wasn't losing it through evaporation and I could see the ground was damp around the outside. So I walked around, walked around, couldn't find a hole anywhere, which means the holes in the floor underneath of 42 inches of water or whatever. And I did not want to drain the pool to have to find it. So I decided to go on a search to find a product that supposedly would seal that up underwater. And what I ended up with was Gorilla Patch and Seal Tape. All right, guys, real quick before we dive into this week's review, if you want to know more about who I am, check out toolmantim.co. That's toolmantim.co. You'll find all my social media links there, a link to the monthly once a month newsletter that I send out. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's toolman underscore underscore Tim. The link's in the description below. You'll get uh, kind of preview access to a lot of the new tools I got coming in. Some really cool stuff, some projects I'm working on in my handyman business and around my home. And just, you know, day-to-day -day stuff that I'm up to. So give me a follow over there. Check it out and let me know when you do. I love Gorilla products. I've had really good luck with a lot of them. I've watched some reviews on some of the wonky ones out there and some people just don't like them. But everything I've used so far from the Gorilla brand has worked. And when I discovered that I had a hole, which ended up being two holes in my pool floor, I knew I had to come up with something. So I started watching videos and sure enough, I found this guy right here, the uh, Gorilla Patch and Seal Tape. And after I applied it to my pool, I discovered they also had a white version, even though I could only find the black in the stores. White would have been a lot better for the pool, but you know what? So I'm okay with the fact that it shows up like a sore thumb in there. No big deal at all. So how does this stuff work? Well, first off, I'm going to cut here and show you guys a little bit of footage, and then I'm going to come back to tell you a little more about it. Today, I have my two beautiful assistants, one who is the camera lady, Oops, helping me out, and we are out here trying to track down a hole in our pool. Uh, you can't see it, but I, I got some other footage over there on the back. There's a little bit of water coming out behind the pool. And everybody might say, well, Tim, it must be coming out of the pump. It's not coming out of the pump. We've checked. So we have picked up a new product called Gorilla Waterproof Patch and Seal Tape. We're going to run it through the ringer. We're going to see how it turns out, whether it lives up to the hype. It's highly recommended from a lot of community users. So we're going to give it a shot. Let's see what we got on here. It says it'll patch roofing, gutters, pool liner. Uh, it says great for plastic, metal, aluminum, rubber, wood, vinyl, glass, steel, acrylic, made in the USA, which for us Canadians is about as close to home as we can get. And it is a top-notch product. I have not been let down with anything of the Grilla brand. So let's open her up here while I get you, and we'll see what it looks like. Feels like a roll of hockey tape or hockey pucks. So there it is. Looks pretty thick. Pretty sticky, almost like a membrane. And let's see how this comes off here. So, oh yeah, that is what we end up having. So we'll use our uh, fastback Milwaukee knife to cut off a piece afterwards. But first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get in the pool because it is damn hot today. And we are going to explore and try to find a spongy spot in the floor of the pool to see if we can find where the hole is. Hey, so I hope that kind of shows you a little bit about it. I had some frustration at first, for sure. Uh, the first piece we put underwater, okay, so a few things to tell you about this product is, number one, uh, the black side's where it's gonna show up. The gray side is the adhesive, but there is a plastic coating on there. Uh, when I first started, I thought maybe there was a plastic coating on both sides, there is not. So I spent a lot of time trying to peel a non-existing, uh, you know, protector coating on the outside, it didn't come off, but you pull the inside off. Now, if it's in the sun, in the air, in the heat, do not touch the stuff. It is sticky as all get out. And if you t let it touch itself, that piece is wrecked. It literally fuses itself within a second and it, you can't even tell where one side starts and one side ends at that point. So it's that sticky. Now I will say, and they do show it, you know, applying it underwater and it does work but it's not as sticky as you think it should be underwater. So we cleaned around, you know, there's a little bit of sand around the hole and 
we went down under, we put the first one down and it just didn't stick. I don't know if it was because it was an old roll or, or that part had been exposed to the air. I don't know what caused it, but that first piece didn't stick as well as I wanted. So we took a second piece about, you know, four by four uh, inch square. And what I did this time was I took a flooring roller, one of them small little short flooring rollers. And I had my daughter sit on my shoulder so I'd keep me underwater. And I rolled it, I kind of knitted it in place back and forth a bunch of times. And that held, it held really well. And then I got up the next morning and you know what? I still had water all over the ground. I thought, my God, what in the world? This is a piece of crap. Well, hang on because, so a few days later, every day we're still losing a little bit of water, but you know, I left that patch. I got in the pool a few days later and I tried to pull it up and it was stuck good enough that I could not remove it. So it was doing the trick. It was working. It's just, I had a yet undiscovered bigger hole in the floor of my pool. A few days later, my daughter's in there. She's like, guess what, dad? Guess what? I found the hole. I'm like, Yes, Charlotte. All right. So in she goes with another piece and she gets halfway underwater and accidentally stuck it to itself and that one was ruined. So we cut it off, threw it out and got a new piece. She went down, stuck that down, used the roller a few times and the hole was sealed. So if you are looking for something that will seal a hole underwater, this stuff is the cat's ass. Now I figured, hey, what the hell? Let's try it out. So if you watch my Shuvu review, you'll know that I tried to use some of that to patch an air hole leak in my inflatable hot tub. It worked pretty good. If I'd have let it sit maybe an extra few more hours, I probably would have had a perfect patch. So anyway, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try this. So I took two four by four pieces, overlapped them over it, and I have not had a bit of air leakage in the hot tub. So if you're looking for something to patch an air hole, this, I mean, this thing, it's 20 bucks in Canada for 10 feet, so two bucks a foot, but it's worth it. I mean, it's already paid for itself in saving me frustration and anger <laughs> just with the two holes in the pool. And the, uh, the, the gravy was the hole in the inflatable hot tub. So this stuff is thick. It's like an actual membrane. It's about an eighth of an inch thick and it's really rubbery. It's hard to cut unless you have a really sharp knife or a pair of scissors. And if you cut through it with scissors, it's going to stick a little bit. It's good from, let me see, minus 70 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So this shit will work in the coldest of cold and the hottest of hot. And I'm going to try it this winter just to see. It's going to get to minus 40, I'm sure. And we'll stick it to something to see if we can make it stick like a tongue to a frozen flagpole. Um, one other thing you should know is that the top and bottom is sticky. So if you're going to set it on something, it's going to pick up some dirt. And if it gets real hot where it's sitting, it could leave some residue or just, you know, stick the hell of itself down to it. So just be careful. Maybe put down a piece of wax paper, or parchment paper or something before you do. But it doesn't ruin the tape at all. Uh, like I said, 10 feet, 2 bucks a foot. Uh, a 10 foot roll is just about a pound. So it's heavy stuff. And it's made to hold up. It just works. It does what it's supposed to do. I got to say, the first day I used it, if you'd asked me, I told you it was a total piece of roll of toilet paper is all it was. Although you wouldn't want to use that to wipe your nether regions. But anyway, but honestly, once I let it set up in the pool, this stuff has worked perfectly. So it's definitely made the Toolman Tim seal of approval. It's going to go in the shop as a recommended product because it works. It's great. And for the cost of it, it's absolutely worth it. So I hope that helps guys. If you're looking for a recommendation to seal a hole underwater or just in an area even where water is going to be or air or anything like that, this Gorilla Patch and Seal Tape really, really works. So thanks for hanging out with me in the shop, guys. If you're new here and you want to know more about who I am and join the community, hit that subscribe button. Keep coming back five videos a week, including Sunday night live stream talking tools, where a lot of times I share my thoughts on a tool one year later, and honestly, we sit around, shoot the shit, and get to know each other. And that is more fun than anything else. So thanks for hanging out with me in the garage, guys. You know I always appreciate it. And as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and have a great week.